Aloha and greetings. This is Master Sio coming to you from the Ahaya Center for Spiritual Living in Pasadena, California. Welcome to our healing meditation. I am a trained Hawaiian kahuna healer, trained in the islands of Hawaii and elsewhere in the islands of the South Pacific. I am also a master of medical Qigong. Qigong is a ancient Chinese art of moving or manipulating energy to benefit yourself and others. The ancient Hawaiians centered their healing art called mana. They centered their healing art or mana around aloha, the Hawaiian word for love. The ancient Chinese discovered the art of medical qigong which allows the practitioner to move the energy in themselves or somebody else to help heal them physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Today I'll be using the principles of mana as well as medical qigong along with another powerful healer, Julia Anna Barile. How does it work? You release a very high frequency into yourself and out into other people, which affects the way that they perceive themselves and then they begin to heal themselves. Many people ask, does it really work? I can say definitively, yes. Everything is energy and any energy in motion can affect all other energies. It would be like your body. If I was to hit your little toe on your right foot, with a hammer, you want to feel it everywhere. <laughs> or if I was to give you some great food, a ripe banana, and you ate it, not only does your, your sense of taste feel it and is happy, but all the molecules, the organs in your body are certainly singing hallelujah as well. I am a professional healer with clients ranging all over the world. I volunteer here 100% at the Ahaya Center for Spiritual Living because I believe in their principle of love or aloha and inclusivity of all people and their beliefs. Everyone listening or watching is going to receive a benefit of some kind, ranging from mild to extremely profound. Your own results will depend to a large extent on how much you love yourself and how much you open your heart to receive the healing energy which you yourself generate. And now for some experiences by people who have been with us in person at Ahaya or who have merely watched us online. Hello Ahaya, hello Master CEO. My name is Louise. Um, I've gone through so many different treatments for an injury and my back and my lower back were frozen and my pelvis was very tilted so every time I walked I felt like I was falling forward so I had to think about every step I took. After the first time I did the meditation at Ahaya with Mr. Seo, my lower back unlocked that night and I was so much better the next week my hips unlocked as far as pain. 
I was walking around my apartment and all of a sudden I was so much better and I kept walking and it's like something's really different. And last time I saw him, a few hours later, my blood pressure was extremely normal again. Thank you, Master CEO. He empowers us to claim our own healing and he gives us the tools to do that. Hello, I'm Barry Shibaka Henley. Um, I've been seeing Master Seal for about three years now. There's been a qualitative improvement in my life. I think I'm more patient as a human being. I get into less conflicts and arguments with people. I let them argue and I sit back and watch them. And I uh, feel like there's so much in my life that's improved. Uh, I had some health issues about a year ago and uh, I think this uh, practice has helped me tremendously and I recommend it for all human beings. Hi, Master Sio, this is Sylvia. I just wanted to share with you what I saw um, on your last meditation. I was able to look at you and I saw that your light, your aura was beautiful, just all over you. It was very bright and I was able to see it. I practiced that and I was able to see it larger and larger on you. Then I just wanted to, help, uh, to thank you for all the help you have been giving me. Science tells us that human beings can communicate with each other through these tiny light particles known as biophotons. These biophotons are glowing at a very low level that is not readily perceptible or seen by the human eyes when we see that our cat or dog are able to see things and hear things that you and I can't. These biophotons are also present in all living organisms such as the trees of the forest, the ocean, the shrimp, the shark in the ocean, horses, elephants, birds, eagles, sparrows, and so on. We are all emitting these tiny lights called biophotons. Quite often in my healing practice, people are able to see biophotons once they get into a state of profound relaxation where their senses are actually heightened. Their sense of observation becomes much more intense. And it is normal, both here at Ohio and in my professional practice, for people to start to see these biophotons glowing around me and I can see the biophotons glowing around my students and my clients. Since ancient times the spiritual leaders have referred to the pineal gland right about here as the third eye and many times people could see lights glowing around and as I said in my practice this is very common so as you watch here today I'm requesting that you keep your eyes open and gaze steadily into my third eye right about here or in this general area and it is very possible for you to see these biophotons like come to light. What you will see, by the way, is a reflection of yourself, of your own existence. The lights will be your lights. This here is like a mirror. Also, it is possible that you may see my face morph into different variations. It is common for some people to see an owl or see a white wolf. All kinds of things, emblems and symbols may arise. Also, it's important for you to acknowledge whatever 
different sensations that you may experience. The first and most common one being a sense of growing relaxation, almost as though you are falling asleep. And the more that you observe and acknowledge these unique sensations, the deeper you will slide into the healing zone where it is possible for you to change your DNA, to change your sub-DNA, and to elevate your own life at all possible levels. Very shortly I'm going to be quiet and I request that you keep looking and observing, keeping your eyes open even if mine close. <coughs> Please gently close your eyes. Please gently close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, place your right hand over your heart and quietly say to yourself, I am my own master. And imagining that you can see your heart beating in your chest, say quietly to yourself, Dearest 
heart. Please talk to me. Dearest heart, please talk to me. It is very possible that you may feel as though you are watching yourself from outside of yourself. As if you were floating a little bit at a distance and you see yourself suspended in front of you like horizontally and you know that you are going to be observing the changes, the upgrades in your body and watching the biophotons moving about in your new creation. These little lights are flowing from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet, glowing brighter sometimes, diminishing a little, pausing at certain points, becoming blindingly bright, and then fade and maintain its steady glow as it brings the healing energy that you are generating into every cell, every molecule, the minutest parts of your body are responding and accepting the upgrades that you are applying throughout this new creation of yours. The more you observe, the more powerful your healing becomes. There is no need for any particular expectation or particular intention. Just your observation is more than sufficient. If these sensations that you're experiencing pleasant and invigorating to you, you may just think this thought once only in your mind that the healing that you are experiencing at this moment is automatically extended to and then fill in the blank, such as your brother, your nephew, your auntie, your mom and dad, even people that you have not seen in a long time, and they too will receive the blessings that you are enjoying right now. And as you watch the sparkling little lights moving about, you can actually feel them bringing you healing energy constantly. You may recall a time around the age of three or four, a magical time when you knew that you could do everything. As a child, you had not yet lost your way spiritually, and you had 
access to all the potentials and the possibilities that we are born with until the adults around you told you that there was no such thing as a magical life without pain and full only of joy and abundance and satisfaction. Today is the day that you reclaim your inner child. Usually symbolized by a young girl beautiful, standing in front of you and welcoming you back to a world of unlimited potentials and unlimited possibilities. In your life, many people have hurt you and you forgave them. But too often you forgot to forgive yourself. Today is the day that your inner child, who is your real self, wants you to forgive yourself completely. Whatever you think you might have done wrong, it was the best you knew how at the time. And as you forgive yourself, you feel completely empowered to continue the healing after your experience here with us today. If you had felt any pain in the last minutes, that pain shall diminish before we are done here and disappear for later in the day. And as you return to your normal circumstances in a few moments, when you open your eyes, you will notice Everything looks much brighter, more hopeful, and you are anchored back in a time of unlimited potential and possibility. So you pick up this inner child with her fragrant bouquet of flowers and tell her thank you for bringing me back to my real self and my real power. At the same time you look at your representation floating in front of you and say Thank you for being here. Thank you for changing my life and upgrading it completely. I love you, both of you, and I will never abandon you again. And now open your eyes. But please remember, here is the place you may return to to upgrade and recharge your immunity by boosting your frequency. 
would like to thank you again for joining us here, as well as thanking my colleague Juliana Barile for adding her energy here today. In a few minutes, you will be meeting our senior minister, Reverend Scott Olson, with our regular celebration service. This is Master Seo thanking you from the Ohio Center for Spiritual Living in Pasadena, California. Aloha and thank you.